As each day in April passes, winter retreats just that little bit further into the mountains of Colorado. The highest peaks are still covered in snow and will be until July. But the rivers that start their journey near these mountains, they are slowly beginning to thaw. Today, on a beautiful 60 degree day, I find myself fishing newly on frozen water. Nice little brown here. There we go. Absolutely beautiful colors on this guy. Bright yellow, nice spots, just awesome. This hole looks very promising here. There we go. <sighs> All right, nice. Such fun pocket water. Really high gradient, big boulders, and deep pools below them. Kind of my favorite type of river to fish. Okay, Woo. <laughs> that was a struggle, but we got them. <laughs> well, they've been pretty small today, but uh, what they lack in size, they certainly make up for in beauty. Once again, we're just gonna kind of stay back from the pool a bit, try to remain stealthy, really utilize this over oversized long line to try to get some drifts in front of these fish without them seeing us first. The goal was just to get out here on a nice, relatively mountainous stream for the first time this season and uh, target some small wild fish. Nicer fish here. Heck yes. Oh man, <laughs> this is so cool. Feels so good to be out on this stream after a long winter. There we go. 
Yes. Nice fish. Dark, colorful, biggest one of the day. Days spent fishing can stick in my mind for any number of reasons. A trip to an alpine lake during the height of summer is so immensely beautiful that the memory can't help but lodge itself in my skull. A trip to a productive tailwater where I catch my largest fish ever has the same effect. I will remember today not necessarily for the scenery, or for the size or number of fish, but for the simple pleasure of just getting out onto the river after a long, cold Colorado winter. If you'd like to watch me fish a much larger river right after ice off, click the video above. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.